Hello all. Last time we discussed how to generate a surface and contour map using Civil 3D software. Today we are going to discuss how to uh, draw a topographic map or how to uh, create a topographic map in the same contour drawing. So what is a topographic map? Topographic map is a kind of map um, which has all the ground features such as uh, permanent structures, buildings, some big trees and uh, not only that, uh, the contours are also included, some sport heights uh, in uh, special locations such as a mountain top or somewhere else, all details are included in this uh, topographic map. So. Uh, now we are in the Civil 3D interface. Um, to draw the topographic map, we need to change the Civil 3D interface to the AutoCAD interface. It is very easy to uh, switch the interface. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to switch, uh, click here where you see the Civil 3D workspace and then switch it to the drafting and annotation. Drafting and annotation means uh, the AutoCAD. So, so now we have the AutoCAD interface. So um, now we need to find the things in the drawing. We can zoom in like this using the mouse and find out any special locations with kind of uh, with uh, the codes that shows us the sign of permanent structures, the places of permanent structures like this. So now this is a drain. Uh, can you see DRN? That is the code I have put in this particular uh, map for the drain. So, so DRN represents the drain. So now I am going to join these drain points together by a line and show the drain in the plan. Right now you see here we have drain points here we have here we have and here also we have two drain points. So how you going to find the uh, uh, find uh, what the drain uh, point is? So you can take your mouse point over the label. So when when it is close by, you can see the relevant point to that particular code. Now you see now this is the relevant point to the. Uh, this is the relevant point to this label. So now before we start this uh, drawing, we can uh, create a layer. We can create a layer uh, in Civil 3D, uh, sorry, in AutoCAD uh, interface. So uh, to create a layer, you, you have to go to layer properties in the ribbon. And uh, if you go to layer properties, now you, now you see uh, this is uh, the, the active layer is AADRA. This is the uh, layer I have created for drawing the uh, or marking the drain. So this layer crea uh, is created by myself. So this is how I did it. So earlier before I uh, created this one, the, the original active layer was uh, or the default layer was zero layer so then what i did was i i just uh, click on this icon add new layer then the new layer will appear like this uh, then i put a a the meaning of putting a a is i want to take my new layers to the top right otherwise if i start with dr in code it you have to scroll down in the list to find it right so it is a bit difficult so that's why i put uh, it as a a uh, drn like that a a drn now since i have created such a layer so i will create this as um, a a rd for roads because in this plan we have a road section 
small road section i can mark it by this code for the road we have put the code as rd so i am going to uh, put a color for that layer as well so i'm going to select a uh, orange color for it so, right that is for the road so now we need to draw the drain so i'm going to select the drain layer so what i need to do is i need to double click on that particular layer uh, now then i i'm going to close it and now i'm going to use a few commands uh, to draw these lines i can use this line command or polyline command or sp line command we call spline spline we can type it in the uh, command line like this then we can press enter in the keyboard then this spline is selected if you use spline it gives you smooth lines like this so now you see uh, i'm going to draw drains this is the next point i'm going to draw the left edge of the road right so, so now you see i connect i connect these lines i'm just showing only few features right when you are doing this uh, uh oh my god i miss one point doesn't matter uh right. enter so now this one drainage this is one drainage and i'm going to mark the next drainage as well so i can repeat the command by pressing the enter pressing the enter so now the spline command is activated in the command line you can see that so i'm going to pick the next point and this one and this one and this one this one and enter right now this is the drain so if you use spline command you can draw it uh, like a smooth curve right but if you use i will erase this one and i will use the line command and show you right uh, then it will be a straight line but with uh, some kind of sharp bends now here this is almost uh, straight but here you see uh, it is a bit sharp bit sharp compared to this spline you see so now this is this is the drain so i'm going to stop it here now we'll try for the road as i remember the road starts from here Uh, here before the road we can see four codes having the name of b u l d that is for the building so therefore we can assume that this is a building actually there was a building so i i obtain four coordinates at four corners so now i am going to draw that one so what i can do is i i am going to put a new layer uh, for the building go to layer properties and new layer i am doing this very fast since i have explained this previously a a b u l d b u l d right and i can give a color for that layer so i will give yellow and uh, I, i will double click on it uh right now it 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 has become the current layer right so i'm going to close this and use this line command right so now i'm going to draw the building oh you see is the building then you see code for the road i think here here the place where the road starts so it has left edge as well as right edge so now uh, i'm going to switch the layers a a 
road now i am going to start it but uh, uh, we know that roads have smooth curves therefore i am going to use spline command for the road spline command So I can continue the road, uh, but uh, I will show you uh, just how to go the uh, other edge as well. Same procedure. This is the one edge of the road. We'll draw the other one as well. Supply. Like we can enter here after the road has a straight section, so I can join it by a straight line. Like this. So I have uh, drawn the uh, drawn a part of this uh, drawing. So all this there drain is here, like that. And here we have the gate, and B and D is the boundary. So we can do this gate if we want, and trees also there. So we can put some symbols there for a tree. Like this, but we have to create a separate layer. Uh, you can do it yourself. Right. We also we have a teak tree, so we can copy this. So copy this, and go to here. Right. So this is how you show this. So once you have drawn this, you need to name this, right? So I'm, I will quickly teach you how to add a text. So you use multi-line text. So you keep it here. So you can write uh, building. 
so for the text also you can create a separate layer so here you have to increase the scale let's see you have to put six what will happen it is too big right so we'll change the size uh, size and see um let's try one Now it's one. Scale is one. Right. This is the road. So if you want, if you you can make the capital thing, and uh, now you can copy this one. So once you have um, text into the uh, drawing, you can use the same text over and over again by copying it and pasting it anywhere you want and then you need to just edit the letters so now here you can write it as wrong and you can rotate it uh, First, you take it there and you can click the button and click it like this. So, now this is how you do it. Right. Uh, usually, the contours do not pass through the permanent structures like this. So, now I'm not going to trim them, but you can trim them later before you print it. So, before you trim them, you need to put an alignment. Let's say now you are going to put a separate road or canal here. So, first, you need to put an alignment. For this for the particular canal or the road section or the building uh, then finally before you print it you can trim these control lines otherwise uh, it will affect your uh, further analysis so once you cut these contours trim your con trim these contours uh, this surface is no more valid therefore uh, keep it for as the last uh, last step trimming these contours right that is the last step before you uh, submit your drawing or the print your drawing so now um, you have uh, uh, put the lettering and now we'll see how we can uh, plot this one right so you can uh, go to layout tabs so layout one is this one uh, now before we uh, think of this uh, print this layout we need to scale this one first we need to select the paper so that we can go to this plot option so plot is in the quick access toolbar now here it is in the two, uh, quick uh, quick access uh, access toolbar, or you can uh, you can type in the command line, right? If you can't remember where the plot is, you can type in the command line. Again, the same win window will appear. Right now, here a page setup. Here the name you can put none. You need to make it a PDF. So you can see drawing to PDF, drawing to PDF. And then now here you can select the paper size. So paper size, uh, normally, usually we draw in A2 papers. In our, for our practical work, we use A2 papers. So A2, A2 is one, 594 into 420. So it should be ISO full bleed. ISO full bleed means you don't have uh, borders you can uh, decide on. The margins 
as you want, right? So this is ISO full bleed A2. I have selected that one. And then don't click OK. You just click uh, apply to layout. Here you can change this one to monochrome CTV. Monochrome means uh, um, now now uh, we have drawn our drawing using several several layers. So it, so those layers have uh, different colors. But uh, when we get the printout. It is more um, um, uh, more visible if you make it as a black and white print. So this is good, uh, virtual. Uh, we can select the monochrome. So I'm going to use monochrome. Quality you can so the maximum right maximum is good right. Now apply to layout. Once you apply to layout, your page size will automatically uh, become. A2. So now this is the A2 size. Now this is known as a viewport. So you can adjust this viewport as you want and you can keep it as the border if you want. So now this is the this is how you do it. You can use the mouse, the middle mouse button. So now you, you have adjusted the viewport. Now you can click inside the viewport. Now you can adjust the drawing. You can scale in, scale out. Now I'm going to scale in. Uh, zoom in now. I have zoomed in. Uh, so I can decide on the scale here. So I can use, uh, we'll try one is to 100. So it is too big. So let's say one is to 500. It'll be good. I think the most suitable scale is one is to 250. Sorry, not one is to 250. Uh, one is to one is to 750. Yes, this is the most suitable scale. So once you have adjusted the scale, you can lock it. You can lock it. Uh, by clicking on this uh, icon in the command line. Now you can't change the scale because you have locked it. But uh, you can uh, move the drawing. Oh, let's see. let's see whether we can move it. No, we can't move it inside the viewpoint. So if you want to move it, again you need to unlock it and click the middle mouse button and shift it to the left or right okay. then again you can lock it so now you can zoom in and see whether you can see this if you feel that these letters are too small it's time you to adjust the scale of them so we'll see we'll try Now it is a bit visible, right? So now you have done scaling. Now what you need to do is you need to put the topic here, right? You can put the topic here. So for that you can again copy the same letters. You can copy the same letters. and bring here bring to the top yeah i can uh, adjust the size to six six is okay so i can write uh, the topo map of
me of eight acres eight acres land at water acre right so i can give a different i can put this uh, uh, letters or this uh, text into a different layer that will be easier again a a text so i will give the color black color okay and Uh, the current layer then what i can do is i can draw a small line using that layer and then you go to mesh properties and click on left click on this black line and click on this one. now it will automatically the text line automatically will be added to the um, text layer here also i can edit then i can press escape then later i can erase this one next uh, you can put cages here writing your name serial number or whatever uh, and put, you can put your signature and stamp here so you can go to insert and uh, to stables so let's try annotate standard tables are there here you can uh, select the number of columns and number of rows uh, we need just three rows and let's say four rows three mm. Two columns enough. Column width is sixty-three point five. Row height is one. Now we'll see what type of uh, table comes. So we click OK. I put here. So this is the table. Is too small, right? So we can adjust its size. we can we can drag it down like this so so we can write here anything let's say your name so you can type here name you can give the scale yeah, 66 okay see yes and you can it is too big so i can put it uh, we start it up we'll try 3 is okay she seems okay so you can um, take this 
middle uh, let's say middle left middle left is okay then you can uh, give some space here name like that you can fill the table and date and all those things and here you can put notations if you have some symbols like trees and those things you can prepare similar similar type of table and put at the uh, right hand side of the drawing so this is how you can uh, uh, do your topo map easily and once you have uh, done that uh, uh, you can uh, you can underline this one underline this topic can uh, like this topographic map of eight acres land at water acre like that you can remove this unwanted rows or columns if you want here you can write drawing details right and you can put scale here one is to 750 right for that you can uh, use uh, you can go home and copy this one Is you can bring it out somewhere here. Post, uh, then put it like scale. Is to seven hundred. Or you can put this put this scale here as well if you want right so you can you can decide it right, this is how you can complete your topographic map this is one such topographic map drawn by myself so i will show you how to import this uh, drawing into a pdf right so first we have to go to this this is the application menu and then go to create pdf then we have to give a name right uh, let's say yes now i'm going to pdf and we have to uh, browse the location you want to save it so i'll uh, easily find out the desktop give the desktop as the location right then we have to uh, export the current layout page setup so image quality you can select the image quality right so you want high quality the quality as well as uh, the image quality can be increased like this just one the other one automatically changes okay so if you want it you can include the stamp but you have to give a, uh, give it before done it's here we'll open and see how it looks like right this is it right. 
right uh, that's all for today's video in my next video i will show you how to put an alignment over the surface and how to create surface profiles using such alignments thank you very much for watching this video coming up next is creating surface alignments and surface profiles don't forget to subscribe this channel for more of the very latest videos and click the bell button for latest notifications.